Hi, yeah. I thought I would just quickly make a quick intro for the vlog I filmed yesterday. It was Wednesday and we were in day three of what I call our sort of serious lockdown. And when I say serious, I mean some countries have got it far worse. But in the UK, you know, we've been told that we can't really go out unless it's for <clears throat> to pick up essential food items or medicines. Um, we're allowed one hour of exercise a day. We're not allowed to be in groups outside of more than two people. We have to keep a metre apart from the other person and obviously work from home if you can. So I thought I would just give you a quick insight. I'm going to say quick. I'm not sure how long it's going to be yet. An insight into what our day has been like so far. Um... Yeah, family of five. Although you'd think we're a family of four because you never see my son because he doesn't like to be filmed, you know. He's a typical teenager. So, um, yeah, I hope you enjoy seeing what we get up to as we slowly lose our minds. I'm joking. It's not that bad. Bye. Trying to order food online. Basically, um, I'm trying to get online to arrange for my parents to get some food delivered, shut down, which it is. If you go online um, and you try to uh, put in a new email address, you get a message saying, due to unprecedented levels, uh, we're not taking any more registrations. Uh, when you actually try and call that number, um, First of all, you get busy all the time, so you just keep pressing the call back number, um, and that goes on for, for, for ages and ages and ages. And then when you finally get through, you get an automated message, which gives a load of blurb, and then right at the end of it, just when you think it's gonna say, stay on the line, and uh, we'll put you through to one of our customer services agents shortly, it then says, Due to unprecedented levels of calls, we are unable to take your call right now. Please call us back later. Hi, Dad. You're right. Yeah. 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 Not too bad. Um, I, listen, I've tried this morning um, on the Sainsbury's website again. Um, it's still giving me the the same old, same old. Um, not taking any new registrations. So you got absolutely no chance of, of of getting your email registered with them anyway. I've also tried to call that number that's on their website that uh, they've said elderly customers please call us. Uh, that just basically in the end tells me we can't take your call. We're too busy. Try again later. Um, yeah, so I, I mean I'll keep I'll keep trying today, but um, I haven't done so yet. But I, I guess it's going to be the same. For yeah, I, to, to be honest, I probably.
hey. Are you finally dressed? Did mummy finally get you dressed? <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> I feel like this has been a very long morning. It's only 18 minutes past 11. Um, and yeah, the kids have been doing their homework that the school is sending. I'm working, looking after a little one. And also I've got my, my own little one. Um, we're about to have some lunch so they can have a nap. But a friend of mine's just texted me to say that um, Prince Charles has got coronavirus. I don't know if this is true. I am going to have a look on the news in a minute and see. So I just checked the news and apparently Prince Charles does have corona, but... They're saying that it's very mild symptoms, so that's good. And the Queen hasn't caught it, they're saying. So I'm sure there'll be lots of many other people, um, public figures, who are going to catch it. Just have to wait and see. It's such a nice day outside. Look. Our garden is just a complete mess at the moment. Stuart's been working really hard, bless him, putting the fences up. Um, we've got a couple more just to do at the back and to the side, but it's almost done. It's just so typical that, you know, we've had months of bad weather. It didn't stop raining for what felt like forever. Um, and then the sun comes and we get told that we have to you know effectively go into lockdown only leaving the house if it's really for really essential items can't be in groups of more than two people and you know what us Brits are like you know what us Brits are like as soon as there is the hint of sunshine people get in their shorts on firing up the barbecue we love it but no it's not going to be happening for a while well i mean i suppose people could get their shorts on still have a barbecue with just their families I've just done a quick 20 minute run which has made me feel good and now I'm going to be less inclined to want to drink wine. I'm just going to go and have some water, maybe have a tea and just try and, you know, be healthy. So after my bath I'm going to give myself a little bit of a facial. I'm going to use this mask first while I'm in the bath. And when I get out, I'm going to do some micro needling, and then I'm going to use, I'm going to do some micro needling, and then I'm going to use my uh, retinoid. It's very, very mild retinoid, and then I've got some glycolic as well, and then I'll put on this cream, which is nice and soothing, and this one for my lips. Uh, 
so I'm gonna give myself take my old nail varnish off and put some new one on and then just put some like all over my body and just yeah have a little bit of a pamper this is a hydration mask for very dry skin intense moisture boost the healthy looking skin Now I shall go and sit in the bath for a little bit and then take this off. Right, so that was a nice bath. I found this toner which I'm gonna add in. I didn't show it to you downstairs because I forgot I had it. I really need to get some new skincare stuff. So I think that is gonna be a job I do this week have like an online shop although I do have some bits I ordered from Avon um, so I might wait and see anyway right now this is my roller this is a 0.5 Needle depth, that's the lowest one, and it's a bit prickly. I don't do it that often, maybe once a month, if that, probably less than that, actually. I try not to go the same way. lip lines, I hate lip lines. Okay. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on. So I wonder how everybody else is finding this whole lockdown business. For me, I don't mind it so much. I like being in the house. I like my family most of the time. Um, no, I'm joking. And yeah, I don't really feel like it is a huge change to my life. It probably means that I have a really boring life. Um, thing that I'm struggling with is the schoolwork, trying to get the kids to do it. Sorry about that, I stopped filming because uh, Poppy and Stuart came in. Right, I'm now using some of the Ordinary Retinoid. This is a really, really low dosage, so that's why I'm not too fussed about getting it in my eyes and stuff right yeah what i was saying before about the um the homeschooling i keep seeing these things on instagram about you know people with their perfect homeschool setup what a load of bollocks i'm sorry these mums that do that are just trying to make all the other mums feel bad oh look at me i'm so perfect ah fuck off anyway yeah homeschooling not the best, but what else are you going to do? It's better than the alternative, isn't it? So, And then I was thinking, oh, you know, 12 weeks, if it is going to be 12 weeks, is like two summer holidays. Um, oh, stings. Two summer holidays on top of each other. And I always find the summer holidays not a problem. So I was thinking, oh, I could do two summer holidays, you know, on the trot. And then I thought, oh, actually, it's not really like the summer holidays, is it? Because we can't go anywhere. 
we can't really do much. Uh, we can't have people over, so it's not it's not really like the summer holidays at all. I was just kidding myself. This is actually quite stingy. I feel that's good. I feel it means it's working. It doesn't usually sting. It's just because I've done the micro needling, so it's really getting in there. It's absorbing. I'll wake up tomorrow and look like I'm 18. All right. Now we're going to have a little bit of protect and perfect intense. Hopefully this doesn't sting. Yeah, that scene in uh, Home Alone. <laughs> That's what I feel like. Oh, actually, look, I can feel my skin peeling. Is it my skin peeling off or? <laughs> my skin peeling off. I'm melting. Oh, I don't know what that is. It's kind of gone to a weird consistency. You see that? Hmm. That was this. I shouldn't have put this on. No. Et voila. What I'll do is I'll leave the others to absorb. And then, yeah, I shouldn't have put that on after the overnight peel. What a silly ass. Shall I put some more on? That'll do, Donkey, that'll do. Okay, so I think that is it. This has been my day three on serious lockdown. I say serious, it's not that serious. In Spain and um, Italy, it's far more serious. But yeah, we're not supposed to leave the house unless for essential items and we can have an hour of exercise a day, so. You saw I went for a jog earlier. Um, when I was running uh, on the pavement, somebody had put all these messages in chalk, like, don't worry, be happy, together we're strong, stuff like that. Um, I'll just, I took a video of it, so I'll just show you that now. So I thought that was quite nice. Um, anyway, how's everybody else doing? Are you going mad yet? I'm going to try and see if I can find some of other people's videos to see how they're spending their, their lockdown days. Um, somebody sent me this funny thing of Boris Johnson in the car. I don't think I'm allowed to show it on here because of, you know, like copyright stuff. But you know the blues song when they were all in the car? Anyway, it's Boris Johnson and his people. And there is a photo of them in the car, like, with the roof down. And it's like, got the city on lockdown. Anyway, I found it very amusing. Um, I've also ordered a few things because I want to try and do a little bit of baking. So I've got an Amazon order coming, hopefully, soon. So that can be something else I'm going to do. I'm going to try and do a few of these videos. By the end of them, I'll be like that. Crazy, crazy. Anyway, I'm going to go downstairs now and watch a little bit of TV with Stuart and Poppy. 
we found this new show on Netflix called Prank Encounters. It's one of the kids from Stranger Things and it's a hidden camera show but it's all very spooky things and it is very funny so yeah all right goodbye see you later